turn these bowls. <clears throat> Oh, this liquor is in there. Uh huh. Burned out. I might as well check the other one too. <clears throat> Yeah, it looks good. God, they are in there. Yeah, it's fine-ish. What in the fuck? Okay. There's no way to test them out. You go turn my headlights on. I just let it hang right there. Hey, we got power. Yes. So this is the brake light. That's the brake light. <clears throat> so my brake light is working, I think. Just set it up there. That's why I'm making the video to see if my brake pipe are working. Then I'll rewatch it. Let's see. Right there. Right there my thumb is. It's where it burned out. Put my screws right here. Put you right there. Me. There we go. So I know the top one up here is it's on. We gotta make sure the back end.
This little tripod thing works good. There we go. I can angle it. Set it at different angles. Line the holes back up. Put some weight up against it, hold it in there. Did I turn them lights off? I thought I did. Well, that's in. Let's see. I bet I didn't turn them off. No, they're still on. Now they're off. Oh yeah. All right, brake lights are fixed. So now I got brake lights. I know this one over here was working already. Said this one here wasn't working. So that was the bulb. Got me one extra one, so if another one blows. Okay, with the brake light, situation is fixed. They say, well, they posted on Facebook, Cherry Bomb manufacturer on, uh, on Facebook, they said, uh, decal will be included in every box they sell. You know what's about to happen with this thing. You already got the idea. So, let's see if there's a decal in there. That's what they said on the website. Or on the, uh, Facebook page. Little 8 inch. Okay. Ah, right there in front. Which I got plenty of these anyhow. So. <laughs> oh, buddy. Oh, boy. Nice red powder coat. God, oh, that looks good. It's gonna sound even better. Well, y'all know the idea if you've been watching this channel, watching that old video of uh, go back and find it in my under my my upload my uploaded videos. Let's see what what would that be named? It was the Cherry Bomb exhaust battle with this truck and a Ford F-150, which is a, across the street. This is what he is running under the truck with a Y pipe, which is a pipe that comes out, and then it goes into two. That's what I'm going to do with this thing. So...
maybe later on this summer or sometime sometime this year maybe hopefully i'll get around to doing this thing not sure on how much it's going to be to put a cherry bomb glass pack on with the Y pipe, which I do not have. So it's going to be a single muffler. I was going to try to put that right back in the box. Hang on, let's see if I can restaple this thing. Yeah. I kind of wish I had a couple extra hands. There it is. There we go. You got it. Glass back. I ran Cherry Bomb for a long, long time. Ever since high school. So they live up to their name, their product. Phenomenal. Disturbing the peace since 1968. And you can see these guys at SEMA. At the SEMA show. And I think it was in Las Vegas. The SEMA show. Yeah, that staple ain't going to stay. Tripod works real good. People's probably assume what watching the video like, well, what kind of exhaust you got on it now? A cherry bomb vortex, which is off their product line. Sounds real good it, under acceleration. But then it gets very quiet. But then when you roll the windows down and you want to go down the road with, with your windows down, you don't hear nothing at all. You don't even hear your tailpipes echoing off of a building or anything. So it's a very quiet muffler. There it is, right there. Had to get the box settled around. Cherry Bomb Vortex, that's what's up under the truck right now. And I'm going all the way across the board to a Cherry Bomb glass pack. Judging of that size, you know it's already eight, eight inches. Two and a half in, two and a half out. Just like neighbor. Till next time, let's get it.